Well, honey, I had to put these big white <clears throat> summery sunglasses on to come out and talk about today's holiday traditions on Thanksgiving Day because it is nice outside, honey. And Lord knows my precious mommy, Anita, she loves it to be pretty and bright on a holiday, honey, because she says people can travel and ain't got to worry about them not getting in and you ain't got no excuses to not be somewhere to eat, honey, and to enjoy your fellowship with your family. So let's talk about today's Thanksgiving traditions. First of all, youngins, when you get to somebody's house, won't you just turn them cell phones off and enjoy them people? Because, you know, it's only like once, twice, or three times a year that you see most of these fools. And, honey, just get up there and enjoy them. Because, honey, you'll need about 360 more days of fodder of talking about these people. And God knows if you get stocked up, you'll have lots of things to talk about. And if you're clacking on that cell phone to your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your cousin... Uh, that you don't really like or uh, uh, scranging through Facebook unless you're scranging through looking at Lavasia Rivers there ain't nothing else to look at on Thanksgiving honey because the parade's already over and the dog shows on and there's gonna be somebody at the house of coaching football <coughs> and a coaching basketball watching the TV honey because you know how they are honey God knows Call, uh, calling all the shots honey thinking they're at Rep Arena honey or uh, down there at, uh, at uh, Tennessee uh, trying to coach either way but uh, I do want to think about some traditions. First of all, listen. Some people have the tradition of always coming late. My precious sister Jackie and the Wolfer girls, if you told them to be here at 4 o'clock, they'd be here at 7.30 or die, honey. So those are the kind of people that you have to lie to on the holiday. You have to say, oh, yeah, we're eating at 5.30 so that they'll really be here in time for the meal, okay? Because they're late. Because it takes them a long time to get their face pretty, get their hair done, get themselves together. Then there's also people, honey, who I think it's even ruder than that. People come early. Honey, people that come before you get your sweatpants off and you get your vacuum cleaner out of the middle of the floor, honey, and they just want to roll in early, honey. And you, gotta, you ain't even got hoard herbs ready for them or nothing, you know? That's kind of rude, but it is a holiday, so what do you do? You just welcome them on in, honey, give them some Ritz crackers, honey, and just say, you're going to sit around, honey, and if they really love you, they'll understand why you still got that Electrolux in the middle of the floor, right? Exactly. But my main tradition <clears throat> on Thanksgiving, and don't you judge me for this, because we're adding a new one this year. My precious niece, Brooke, and sister-in-law, Robin, and my mom and all of us, honey, after we eat on Thanksgiving, I like to sit down in the middle of the floor with a telephone. Don't tell nobody this. And I call all the Walmarts in our region, and I prank phone call them. And ask them about the Black Friday deals and, honey, if I can bribe them into letting me get in line first for things. And how many TVs I can get and what kind of TVs they got and what kind of deals they got. And has anybody done been in there and tried to whoop each other? And just a lot of times the cashiers just love it. They fall for it every time. Like a couple years ago, there was a stabbing in the Claypool Hill Walmart parking lot. And I called up her and I said, hello, this is uh, Emma Chang. And I said, my husband, Herb, he's on his way up her to do some Black Friday shopping, and I said, if he's blood in the parking lot, he'll pass out. Uh, you just got the blood cleaned up, and this woman went all in the spiel of telling me about what had happened. So youngins, we like to do prank phone calls on Thanksgiving. Huge tradition in my family. Love it. And Lavasi Rivers don't do those calls, because people know who she is. I have to make up some other name, Incognito, on Thanksgiving. Anyways, this year I'm going to add another tradition. I have always been the boycotter of going places on Thanksgiving Eve. But young as I can't help myself, I'm going to go ride the escalator tonight up at Grundy Walmart. So stay tuned later on tonight, honey, and you'll see me slang up down that escalator. You probably won't see me slang up down the escalator, but I'm going to talk about it afterwards. What I see and what I experience, honey. People in there pushing and shoving for $10 off on a Vizio TV, honey. So anyways, it's Levisia Rivers, honey. Enjoy your turkey. Enjoy your dressing. And here's the rule for today. From 12 noon until 12 midnight, calories, fat grams, Trans fat, whatever else the chins do that that you think, honey, <clears throat> makes you lose weight or makes you fat or whatever, they're all canceled, honey, until midnight tonight. So eat cheesecake, eat pecan pie, pecan pie, pecan pie, whatever you want to call it, pumpkin pie, pumpkin roll. Honey, at Vicky Bowles made a pumpkin roll for here that I swear I could just sit down with a fork and eat the whole thing. And honey, eat every kind of starch you want because we'll just plan on dieting tomorrow, honey. So, it's Lavasia Rivers. Happy Thanksgiving. I love yuns all, and I know yuns love me. And honey, God, I ain't even full yet, but I'm already exhausted from the turkey. But try to stay awake, honey, because the shopping's going to be good. I know it is. 
I don't like to do that shopping on Black Friday, honey. I'd rather pay $2 more for a pair of jeans. Well, $30 more for a pair of jeans sometimes, as I would have to fight for them. But tonight, I'm going to go watch the fights, honey. It's going to be the WWF 24614 in the WALMART. I know it. And I can't help but not want to see it. It's Levisia Rivers, live and on location, honey, from right here in Anita's carport. Happy Thanksgiving. Love y'all.